So, hi guys, so, um, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, um, I've been gone for three weeks, I'm so sorry. I've had a lot going on and then my driving instructors mucked me about. So, if you want to know what I've been going on, where I've been, then keep watching and thanks. So, first off, um, I'm going to do about my 2022 goals. And then I'm going to tell you about my driving and, yeah, about my driving. So, um, first off, I'll tell you about my 2022. I know it's late, I know we're in February now and I should have done it the first week in January. But I've had such an emotional, busy, hectic month last month. Um, so, get your popcorn, cups of teas, biscuits or whatever and sit back and relax and watch this. I've actually made a list in my phone um, so I'll go through with the list in my phone and just tell you one by one with what I want to do. So I know my hair look, is already looking black and stuff but um, if you can see just here it's to there um, my roots have come through um, it's in it really you can actually see but it's quite darkish um, I'm gonna carry on taking my hair burst and let it grow out a little bit more but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dye my hair from here um, jet black and then I've got some micro hair extensions and I want to put them in because I put them on to sell and they were on there for three-ish months Nobody wanted them and then when I decided on taking them back, I got three messages. Oh, I will have them, have you got an offer, blah blah blah, I'm like no, I'm taking them back. So I'm going to put my, I'm going to do my hair at some point this week or next week. Um, I've made a weight loss journey on Instagram, so what I'll do is I'll link that one down below so you can go and follow me on that. Um, because since having my six year old going on seven next Friday, um, I haven't got re I've, I haven't lost weight and it's affecting my mental health. Um, my mental health for the past month or so, and this last month and this month has been horrendous. It's been that bad. Um, it's actually made me physically sick and um yeah so i've literally been so poorly with my mental health that it's just it's taking over me and it's not a very good thing um so yeah my anxiety and depression are just thinking because i haven't been able to take my pain my tablets for a couple of months it's thinking right well i'm gonna play up then so since I've come off the tablets that I were on, my mental health is rea di dis like reacting differently to the tablets. So yeah, I haven't had a very good few weeks in last month or this month, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Um. So yeah. Um, I'll just tell you what tablets are on. So it was last year in summer, I was feeling really uncomfortable with my toenails. I had something that was called um, a fungal toenail infection and um, it kind of started eating away at my toenails. I was actually going to keep this to myself and just not like bother telling anybody because it's like something personal for me but because I've mentioned it now I might as well just tell you. Um, so I had that for a couple of years and kind of like hid it away and um, I finally buckled the courage up because I told my mum because she had it and so did my big sister so it kind of runs in the family and she says oh she told me to contact a doctor as soon as possible because it looks really bad and at the point it was really bad i do have pictures but there's too many to go through so um 
what I'll do is I'll do a separate video on that one if you want. Um, but if no, like, you know what to do. Um, anyway, I had tablet. I was on tablets, and I couldn't take my depression and anxiety tablets. Also, with the fungal toenail tablets that I called them. They're called something else, but I can't remember what they're called. They're terabithine, I think they are. And there wasn't really going well because what I did was I took my toenail tablets and I gave it about two hours later, I took my depression tablets. Then my depression tablets started making me feel really sick. So I then thought, right, well, I'll take my anxiety tablet because it will make it, you know, calm me down and stop the sickness. Totally wrong idea. So I had to stay off of them for a couple of months and take the toenail tablets up until I got my toenails back. Um, so I have completely changed my um, routine around. So once it comes to summer, I'm going to, I bought some really nice sandals and I've got my uh, flip flops back that I got, gave my niece. So I can wear them in summer and, and just like air my feet off. Um, because I got so uncomfortable with what the way they looked that I literally covered them up and made it even worse. So to this day now that we are talking, I have actually got toenails again. So if you want to, me to do a video, I can do a video and show you before and after pictures and um you know, if you want me to do the video, then I will do, just comment below and I will do that one for you. In summer, what I'm wanting to do, wanting to do, hopefully, is get some nail extensions on my toes. So I can do some short, like, some videos then as well and show you my toenails as well because, um, well, I've bought some stick-on nails for, like, the white ones. And I've, I've got white nail varnish and I look really pretty on. And um, my nails are looking really, really good uh, now. And I'm also wanting to get my nails done. So I will be get buckling. I will buckle the buck up. I will get the courage to get my nails done because there's loads of people that have loads of lasses that I know. YouTubers, Instagram people have the nails done and I've always wanted my nails doing so I've still got a design that I've been wanting to get done for many many years but haven't actually done it um, and also with my driving lessons about that this one's gonna be a long one so about my driving lessons I did post on you on my Instagram and say that um, I have some really exciting news for you that and I was going to tell you in a, a different video but that one so I did my first driving lesson and it was on uh, Wednesday I wreck I think yeah it was on a Wednesday at 10.45 and I tried to go to bed early I tried getting enough sleep and go to bed early and you know be really like you know have enough sleep and be really ready to go for the driving lesson um, and it was really good I was getting the hang of it um, but straight after the first lesson um, it goes on from there so I have my first lesson then it goes for she texts me the date and time that I have my lesson. So I wake up the day the morning of my driving lesson and tells me she's not well. So I'm like, yeah, okay, fine, that's fine. Then she texts me let's say Wednesday, um, in the afternoon, telling me I've got a driving lesson on Sunday. Then Thursday, I think, yeah, it was Thursday, she texts me and says, um, can you have 
no, it was Wednesday because I was at my mum's own. So Wednesday, she texted me and says, Hi, can you do your dress driving lesson Sunday at two o'clock instead of tomorrow? So I said, yeah, that's fine. She texts me saying, thank you, you're a star. And I was like, oh, I did think nothing of it. Then Sunday came. I'm going, I try to have a lion, a really nice lion. So I've got enough, I've had enough sleep and I've got enough energy and enough, like, you know, I don't know how to say it, but like, um, I've had enough sleep to know always what to do then and to concentrate. Um, check my phone, get a WhatsApp message. Hi, sorry, morning, sorry, um, the card's broken down. Um, I'll see you next week if that's okay. So I was like, oh my God, how many more excuses can I get? So, um, I texted her last two week, I think it was, yeah, last week. Hi, do I have a driving lesson um, today? She texts me back. 30 minutes after hi no sorry the car's still in the garage um i'm open to have it back next week so i was like like ringing my teeth like grinding my teeth like really my blood's boiling like thinking right this is it and knowing full well i've got a, a theory test in april and i need to get in the car and practice and revise as much as i can before the theory and um i said i said yeah that's fine that's okay and she's texted back saying thank you um she texted me yesterday hi um i've i should have the car back in a few days i'll let you know when it's here and when i've got it so i said yesterday okay that's fine um and then she texted me today and I have now got a driving lesson. My second driving lesson after a month and what, three weeks? Saturday at two o'clock for two hours. I think I'm going to need two hours because the amount of times that she's messed me around and says, oh, can you do this? Can you do that? And cancelled so many times. Is gonna, I'm going to need it. So, um, what I'll do, then hopefully I'll have another video um, explaining with what I did in that um, lesson and how it was and, um, and so on. So, hopefully, Saturday, if she doesn't come, I've got another driving instructor's number in my phone and I'll just completely cancel her. Because I'm one of those people that if you F me around, then yeah, obviously I'll take you back because I have a heart and I will, I do, I will do that. Um, I'm, but I'm like one of those people that just like, if you fuck me over, yeah. But I always take people back when they piss me off. So, um, yeah. Um, so that's. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll have a driving lesson Saturday. So I'll let you guys know with how that one went. So, yeah. Really sorry about all that. I think there must have been quite a lot. And, and uh, yeah. So, that was my video after three weeks. And have a birthday party for my little boy. And then once I've... Hopefully, I will be doing other videos, and yeah, um, I'm getting. Well, I've wanted my. I wanted two piercings this year. I've already got one piercing, but once I've got my second piercing tomorrow, which isn't on the list because I've already had it. I've already done it. Um, I'll do a up to date piercing, like my uh, piercings update for you and then um yeah i want another pierced ear but i'm gonna do another piercings updated piercings and show you um yeah so hopefully yeah 
So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm really sorry I've been away for two to three weeks. My mental health is just, it's at bay for now. But, um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll edit this video tonight and hopefully have it up very soon. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. My battery is on 15% so I'm going to have to charge it. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. I'll link my second Instagram, my weight loss journey Instagram down below. If you want to follow me on that, you are more than welcome to. And until next time, I'll see you then.